Hello and welcome to Chemistry at Norton Natural School. My name is Mr Maidens and I am one of the A-level chemistry teachers here at the school. By the end of this talk, I hope to have given you an overview of chemistry at Norton Natural. Chemistry is one of the most sought after A-levels by employers and universities. Uh, it's a very interesting and exciting subject with lots of opportunities for further study. The course structure. The examination board that we use is OCRA. You'll be doing this course for two years and this will be taught by two different teachers. One will be your organics teacher and one will be your inorganics teacher. There'll be no external examinations until the end of year 13 and we will be continuously assessing your practical skills throughout the two years. The exam structure. So in total, there are three papers that you'll be sitting. One paper is based solely on your inorganic knowledge and the second paper is based solely on your organic knowledge. These are both worth 37%. The final paper that you'll be sitting is a mixture of both and this is worth a total of 26%. During the two years, we will cover six different modules. In year one, we cover module two, three and four which is basically the, begin the foundations of chemistry as well as the beginning of inorganic and organic knowledge. Year two, we build further on this by covering modules five and six, and during both of the two years, we will be continuously developing your practical skills. So how is the course arranged? So there are two main parts to chemistry. There is organic chemistry, so this is the study of carbon and how carbon interacts with itself, how you can use carbon to build molecules, and how we as scientists analyze those molecules. The second half is inorganic chemistry. This is the study of why reactions happen and metals. There is a final part to all of this, which is known as unidentified chemistry, which is where you link both inorganic and organic chemistry together. The practical endorsement. These are practicals that you'll participate in during your A-level. These are designed to show that you know how to conduct a successful practical. These do not contribute towards your grade, but however, they are pass fail element of the course. Throughout the two years, you'll be continuously assessed by your teacher on the specific chemistry skills that you'll be developing as you go through. You can pass the course, but fail the practical endorsement. But how does A-level chemistry relate to GCSE? There's a lot of overlap between A-level and GCSE, especially at the beginning. So unit four, quantitative chemistry, is one of the very first areas that we look at at A-level chemistry. Unit five, energy changes, is the second area that you'll start to go into when you look down the inorganic track. Unit six, which is the rate of reactions, also favours the inorganic side of chemistry. And finally, unit seven, this is the study of carbon, so therefore is related to the organic side of chemistry. There are many transferable skills that you will develop by studying chemistry. Some examples are your practical skills, your analytical skills, your numerical skills, your problem solving ability, your creativity, your communication and your teamwork. There are a multitude of career opportunities for studying chemistry. For example, medicine, dentistry, veterinary science, biosciences, pharmacy, biochemistry, engineering and sports science. So what are the entry requirements to do an A-level in chemistry? It's required that you have a GCSE grade six in chemistry or a seven seven in combined sciences. It is also desirable that you have a grade six in mathematics as well. There are many enrichment opportunities. On the left, you'll see former students who participated in the Royal Society of Chemistry Olympiad competition. They achieved a silver award. In this competition, you have to participate against other schools showing you for scientific ability. On the right, you'll see the University of Greenwick. In year 12, we have workshops given by lecturers from this university to show you about things that you are currently studying. In year 13, we visit this university to analyse samples of chemicals that we have synthesised in the lab at school. We look forward to the new science labs that are currently being built, as you can see by the pictures and the lab layouts, that should be up and running by September 2020. We look forward to moving into them. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to email sickformrecruitment at nks.kent.sch.uk.